Ladies and gentlemen, 13,000 virtual machines. 13,000 virtual machines in a day and a half. So here we're standing at the Selfies Labs at VMworld, and I'm standing here with Curtis. Uh, so Curtis, I understand that people can walk in here and experience our products, uh, but you built some kind of cloud solution to make this all happen. Can you say something about that? Absolutely. The vCloud Architect team here at VMware uh, put together a best of breed solutions with a suite of our products vSphere underneath, Lab Manager, and then a self-service portal to allow the participants to experience our products in a lab environment very easily. So that means you didn't have to prepare anything for this, uh, people can walk in, they click the button, and at that moment actually their lab environment is created? Exactly, it's a fully automated solution. They come in, they sit down, they click a button on a menu of 10 available labs, and within minutes they're provisioned with an environment that they can use to walk through the lab. So how long does that take and how uh, large are these environments that they are actually creating themsel themselves? Well, it varies based on the lab. Um, some of our labs are as small as two virtual machines for ThinApp. They go as large as nine virtual machines for our network networking and site recovery manager labs. Um, ThinApp can deploy in as quick as three minutes. Uh, the larger ones take upwards of seven minutes. So you're saying that we're actually having labs here for Site Recovery Manager. That means that they are provisioning two sites, SRM, the whole solution all together in virtual machines? Absolutely. It's a full solution with the suite of our products. So they have um, two sets of ESX servers, uh, two virtual centers, Site Recovery Manager, and all the infrastructure components required to set up a full functioning Site Recovery Manager environment, including virtual SAN and do a failover. So all that is created in seven minutes from scratch? That, that's really impressive. How much kind of hardware do they have behind here that is running all this? Surprisingly, the hardware itself is not that, uh, not that big. Uh, we have uh, 96 HP blades that allow us to uh, spread out the load of the environment. We are using four lab manager servers to, to make sure that we can provision things very quickly. But uh, we're, we average, if you look at the board, uh, we have concurrently right now about 150 stations uh, deployed running on that hardware set. Yeah, so I see you have a stat counter going on. Uh, what is that? Is that from today, or uh, what are those numbers? Um, some of the numbers are from today. Uh, the numbers on the right-hand side are cumulative since we started on Monday. Um, so we've deployed uh, over 13,000 virtual machines at this point, and that doesn't include our nested virtual machines. Uh, we're in the process of calculating that right now. We expect if you take the nested virtual machines, we're somewhere in the 20,000 uh, virtual machine count. Um, in the middle, we can see what's actively going on in this room, 100, 147 lab stations with over a thousand virtual machines actively running on that hardware stack. Um, and we, when we say um, that those thousand virtual machines are running on the four racks there the, with the blinking lights. So that sounds really, really like an amazing solution that you built here. So how can people uh, get this themselves? Is that possible? Uh, how would it be available for people to actually provision this in their own environments? Well, thank Thanks to our Lab Manager API, which is very extensive, uh, we built this from scratch with just knowledge that's publicly available to, uh, to any developer out there. Uh, we're using Python and um, the SOAP APIs, uh, so you could build this your own internal lab cloud uh, yourself for doing training environments.